Hi again, everybody. Um, as promised, we'll be looking today at center of gravity of different objects. Um, by definition, center of gravity of an object is really and truly the point where weight seems to act. Um, now, when we say weight seems to act, it means that for geometric objects, for example, a square, the geometric uh, center, sorry, the center of gravity is actually what is called a geometric center. What do I mean by that? If, a, if we take a square into consideration, um, it means that we can actually fold it along its lines of symmetry. Fold it again. Another line of symmetry. This is a shortcut, it actually. Uh, fold along the diagonal. Oh, sorry. Along the diagonal. Uh, two diagonals, actually. So we fold it, fold it in, sorry, along um, the lines of symmetry of an object really means when we draw lines to represent those lines of symmetry, really and truly what we are going to get uh, really and truly is a point of intersection for all these lines. If you balance along this line, if you take this square and you balance it on your finger, you have really obtained what is called the center of gravity of an object. Now, this is for a regular shaped object. No problem. But what about an irregular shaped object? Now, an irregular shaped object, a cardboard cutout, for example, is called a lamina. Um, now, one of the things that we need to know about a lamina is that we cannot obtain the center of gravity of this object by using the same method that we just did because we don't know where the lines of symmetry are. There are no lines of symmetry. So one of the things that we need to know to really introduce how to find that and how we do that, back to square one with our retort stand. So we have a retort stand, again the boss head and clamp. Um, we have what is called a cork attached to it. It's a pin, um, an optical pin actually. You could use a regular head pin that you is used for sewing. Now what we have actually is a pendulum, not just a pendulum. Uh, in this experiment it's actually going to be called, it could be any object with a weight on it, uh, not necessarily a spherical object. This represents what is called a plumb line. Now for a plumb line, let me set it up so I can show you. Um, a plumb line really and truly represents the line of action for weight when an object is suspended. And what I mean by that is, so I'm going to take my lamina, you can do this at home, you take any three points uh, along the edges. I labeled one, two, three, um, and I made holes in them. And along this pin, so let's get in this so you can see. And where this pin is attached, oh man, I'm blocking my face here. I'm gonna actually place this pin where I have hole one, and put it back right here. Oh, sorry, I'm forgetting my plan line. So plumb line needs to be attached let me just put this together plumb line needs to be attached right in front of it so what I'm going to do is to push this object through the string the string is sticky enough um, if it's a very thin string you can actually wrap it around your pin I'm gonna actually attach that right back into my square into my cork sorry normal wine cork uh, no, I call it wine. Uh, what we have actually is something looking like this I'm coming really close now where this line is dropping where this line drops where your pendulum really this is your pendulum just to show you what it is uh, where it drops raising it a little bit this really represents the line of action when this object is lamina is suspended. So it represents where the weight of the object is. However, if I change, so ideally what you really do is you take your meter rule and you what you should do is draw a line from the along this uh, vertical um, cutout, basically where your pendulum is hanging. Uh, you should draw a line there representing your first vertical line or your plumb line where a plumb line would have left this in, in, in well this particular um, straight line region um, what is going to happen is that we're really actually going to repeat for points two and points three along this lamina now the end result really and truly we're going to get three lines of inters three lines sorry run from which runs from each of the points that we would have selected when that happens um, you're going to realize that these three lines will intersect at a point. Now, at the end of the experiment, I'm going to show you where these three lines are. Um, that particular point of intersection represents 
what is the center of gravity for an irregular shaped object also known as a lamina now just to let you know human beings are we symmetric are we uniform nope so our center of gravity is centered well it's actually around the navel area the belly button area um if you stand on both feet as you would normally do without shifting your weight your center of gravity is around that area that belly button Thank you for watching that video. Our next video will be on uh, stability and what change the different types of stability and what changes those conditions for stability to actually occur. Stay tuned. Take care if you like it. Click like if you if you want to subscribe to find out where how how often we post videos. Click that big red subscribe button. Take care. Thank you.